So this question begins with giving us a function. Um, this looks like it's a quadratic. In fact, it kind of looks like a parabola function. But let's read the question and see exactly what we are told. So it says, for the quadratic function f shown, a, b, and c are all constants. For the graph of f, I'm sorry, for the graph of the y equals f of x in the xy plane. So whenever I see graph and there's not a graph provided, if I see the word graph, but there's not a graph provided, I just ought to have it automatically draw an xy plane here. So I'm going to want to use a visual. So for the graph of the y equals f of x in the xy plane, the quadratic function f opens upward. So here's our hint that it's a parabola. Right? There's no other type of graph that we hear about that we're told um, that's described with terms like opens upward or opens downward. So our parabola opens upward. And what does that tell us about our equation that tells us that A has to be positive? Right? Because if A were negative, our, our parabola would open downward. Right? It would face down. So our, our quadratic function F opens upward and the coordinates of its vertex are both negative, which means... Right? In order for the coordinates of the vertex to both be negative, it has to be down here in the left-hand corner uh, in quadrant 3. So I'm going to just put a point here and say there's my vertex. I don't know exactly what the, what the ordered pair is for that, but I'm going to just say that's where it is visually. Which of the following could be true? So we have to pay attention to this word. It doesn't say which one must be true. It just says what could be true. So looking at answer choice A... It says a is less than zero. We've already established, right? The question is already established that a has to be positive in order for it to be a parabola that opens upward. So answer choice a is gone because a being less than zero would make a negative and therefore make the parabola face downward or open downward. So a is gone for that same reason b is gone. And for that same reason, we like c and d so far, at least based upon the fact that a is positive. So with C, it's saying not only is A positive, but also B is negative and C is negative. Well, where would B and C show up on my graph, right? So if you recall from your par parabola equation, these become the x-intercepts, or these are the x-intercepts. So I could say, like, I have a B here and a C there, and there's my open, upward-facing parabola. Right, B is, in my example, less than zero. C is also less than zero. So answer choice C is a good answer, right? Choice D is saying that B is greater than zero and C is greater than zero. And when I think about that, even if I were to, and I use a different color, even if I were to move my vertex way over here, I couldn't get a parabola out of that by having like a positive B and a positive C, right? I, I, I really can't make that parabola. So I don't like D for that reason. And notice again, I'm basing all this off of the visual graph. So the, the main strategy that I'm using here is called plug in picture, right? I'm plugging in the graph as described and making sense of the answer choices based upon the visual that I have. And based upon that visual, choice C is the best answer.